Hi guys, this is your sister Karen Gidden in Jesus Christ. Brothers and sisters, I want to come to you today with a very powerful and a very profound uh, dream that a young lady has sent to me. Her name is Sarah. She contacted me on Facebook about, uh, I would say about two weeks ago. <clears throat> And um, she sent a, a audible uh, voice note to me concerning her dream. Brothers and sisters, when I listen to it, because I often listen to voice notes or, you know, when I'm driving to work. And so as I was listening to the sister's dream, words just fail me. Because everything that she had in one night one night, brothers and sisters, the Lord has shown to me over many years. And this is concerning the three days of darkness, the incoming three days of darkness that is coming up. We say Amos 8 verses 9 and 10, where during the midday, the whole entire world will be plunged into darkness. And, you know, it's up to people to believe it or not. But just bear with me, brothers and sisters, please, while I do the transcript of this vision, this dream, I will link it in the description box. Sorry. I will link it in the description box as well so that you can have the full transcript. Some of it uh, is a bit lengthy, so some of it um, kind of take, not, not really take out. But um, I just put the parts concerning the three days of darkness. But the full entire, the full entire transcript, I will link it in the description box. So when you have time, you can read the full thing. This precious sister in the Lord, not going to say she was a mocker and a scoffer, but she totally disagree totally disbelieved in the three days of darkness her brother uh who watches my channel oh, not my channel sorry who watches this channel and also on facebook uh told her about the, uh, the visions that i had concerning three days of darkness and other things and send it to her like you do with your family you know because you want to warn them right so she totally disbelieved them and you know, run it off and she went on the internet and she looked up three days of darkness and it came up as a Catholic, as a Catholic warning. Now, when people go on and see Catholic warning, first of all, they just dismiss it straight away that it is not real. Now, I'm not coming from a Catholic. I am not coming from a Catholic point of view. None of my three days of darkness is vision. But uh, this young lady totally dismiss it, totally dismiss the three days of darkness. But she was wise because what did she do? She went into prayer and she said, God, if this is real, if the three days of darkness, if you are going to let the sun go down at noon and darken the whole earth, if this is real, please show me. Please, and this is what you do. And she did this. So this is her vision. And it goes like this. So just bear with me, please, while I read this to you. First off, first off I want to say, uh, first off, I want to start off by saying, when you guys have been sending me the three days of darkness, and first talking to me about it. It's not that I disregarded it and didn't believe. But when you guys first started talking to me about it, I prayed and asked God, if this is so, please show me. So weeks went by and I didn't get any answer. So side note, like what I said, this young sister didn't believe three days of darkness, thinks it's, you know, whatever. But she went into prayer and said, God, if it's real, show me. Three weeks passed by, nothing at all. No visions, no dreams, no revelations. Okay, let's continue. I went to sleep and I had a dream. And the dream seemed like it was focusing on me, mom, and Joanne. 
uh, Joan, sorry, my sister-in-law. It started off early in the morning. This is a dream she's talking about now. She says that the dream started off early in the more early in the day. We were out in the public and I noticed that everyone was looking at the sky and they were saying it looks like a sunset. It looks so pretty. We all looked up and you know how it looked uh, you know how it looked at sunset uh, it has pink and orange and huge color you know she's talking about when the sun is setting down in real life this is re you know she's talking about this in the in the dream that in real life you know when the sun is setting you get that beautiful pretty pinkish you sun color in the sky like those really pretty sunset pictures it looked like that that is what the sky looked like and I thought to myself, <clears throat> why, why does the sky look like this? It's not, it's, it's very early in the day. It's not even afternoon yet. So here you see in this dream, this beautiful sister was seeing a manifestation in the sky. And it wasn't even afternoon in her in her dream when this was taking place let's continue so when i looked up at the sky it looked like the colors started to melt and it started sorry so when i looked up at the sky it looked like the colors started to melt and when it started to melt there was a darkness behind it and my mom and Joan was like, we have to go. And I am looking around and everyone was still saying, oh my goodness, look at the pretty colors. And my mom said, no, 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 we have to go now. Side note, for those of you who have been following my three days of darkness, not my three days, but the visions that I get concerning three days of darkness and other watchmen on the wall remember brothers and sisters that we always say there's going to be colorful display in the sky before the three days of darkness is before the three days of darkness takes place this is what the young sister is describing with all these colors that she was seeing in the sky okay so let's continue so at this point when all the colors start to melt and then the darkness starts to roll in. In the vision, in the dream, her sister-in-law and her mom said, come on, let's go now. So we went to a place that looked like outside my mom's house, but inside it wasn't. The only thing that was the same was the living room. So we went to the house and my mom and Joan is blocking out the windows and they were getting the duct tape and blocking out every window, trying to hurry up. When this three days of darkness falls, your instinct will kick in and you will know, you know what? Let's block out the windows. This is the reason why we're saying just make sure you got, you know, things to block you know some I, I always say black bags but you don't have to use that if you don't have if you don't have it but anything that will stop you from looking out and whatever is in the darkness to looking at you inside the house okay so in this vision as soon as i reached the house they were blocking out the windows and there was other people that was there with us i am not exactly sure who and I'm not exactly sure who, because the dream seems like it was focusing was focusing on me, mom, and Joanne. The old time Joanne is doing this, she has a baby in her arms that looked like her son. And the whole time of the house, I am holding my son. I didn't see the other sorry, I didn't see the other kids or particular anyone at that point. I just knew there was other people with us in this house. So we went into mom's living room where there were candles and we were praying. 
the darkness seems like it was starting to spread. This is side note. Side note. <gasps> this is the reason why in my latest my latest video on the three days of darkness, my latest one that I did about three or four weeks ago. Remember, brothers and sisters, I said to you that the darkness, you will have time, like an hour to half an hour to do what you have to do. This is what the young lady is saying in this dream. This is exactly what she's saying. And the whole time of the house, sorry, the darkness seemed like it was like it started to spread. So it didn't come down suddenly. And there was a loud noise that didn't sound exactly like a siren. But you know how you hear the noise when a siren ends. That that's what it sounded like and at the end when the noise had stopped it sounded like hundreds of wailing and screaming outside totally agree with the sister sad note again in my first profound vision that i had concerning the three days of darkness i'll link it probably in the description box in that profound vision that I had, brothers and sisters, I was caught in the darkness. I am telling you, as soon as that darkness fell and the whole entire place was darkened, you could hear screaming. These were demonic noises, holy noises that was coming in through the darkness. So what this beautiful, oh, glory to God, what this beautiful sister is explaining in her vision is totally real. Absolutely 100% real. Let's continue. It sounded like hundreds of wailing and screaming outside. We were in there continuing to pray in the living room with the candles lit. And I was saying to myself, oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, covering my ears because the screaming was so much. Pestilence. This is what is going to walk in the darkness. Pestilence. David talked about it. If you read Psalms 91, you'll hear our blessed, beautiful King David uh, describe the pestilence that walk it by, walk it by noonday. So these pestilence are not viruses or you know some sickness these are demonics that be, that will be walking in the darkness this is why we're saying cover your window because the three days of darkness is a judgment it's a plague okay it's a plague or if you want to say it's a pestilence and 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 and, and in the darkness these things are going to manifest itself so here you have our beautiful sister Sarah, because of the screaming, I understand totally. I'm reading this and it's just bringing back that vision when I was caught outside. Because the screaming and the howling was awful. Let's continue. I said to myself, oh my goodness, <clears throat> oh my goodness, covering my ears because it, the screaming was so much. I would say throughout the dream... So, she, so throughout the dream, I woke up two to three times. Um, I'll quickly explain to you this. In her dream, this three days of darkness dream that she was having, this young sister woke up three times out of the dream because obviously she wants to escape it. Don't blame her because it's terrifying. And every time she wakes up, brothers and sisters, and she's going back to sleep, guess what happened? Yeah. She goes exactly back to the place where the, where the dream uh, left off. So the Lord wasn't finished with her. Every time she woke up three times, three times. And every time she goes back to sleep, she goes exactly where the dream left off. So in the dream, everywhere was dark. But in the room, there was light from the candle. And every so often... I would hear a knock on the door and it sounded like familiar voices saying to us, open the door. And the people that was in there with us was saying, oh, that's so-and-so. Open the door and Joan said, no, 
sorry i thought it was cut out and joan said no that's not that person do not open the door brothers and sisters this this vision is just so powerful this is so powerful i have done videos you know it brothers and sisters not me alone but others where i said when the three days of darkness falls whatever you do do not open the door for nobody you do not open that door brothers and sisters and this is the reason why hollywood have made the bird box i've given a spiritual analogy concerning the bird box i am telling you these people know that the three days of darkness is real they know that the sun is about to go down they, because you see they're in touch with the fallen angels and satan lucifer he knows the bible and he knows where we are in biblical prophecies so don't think that these occultic luciferian worshipers in hollywood that makes movies don't know what's happening that's why they can put certain things in movie because they know the bird box <clears throat> classic example of the three days of darkness so um she said that while she was in the house she heard knocking on the door but these people remember in the top of the vision in the dream she said in this house there were people in the house that she never knew but these people that she don't know wanted to open the door so let's continue and see if they open the door so ever so often whatever was out there was imitating so these pestilence let's call them pestilence they will come in familiar voices so they will come in somebody's voice that you know do not open that door and you do not pull that window whatever you do don't do it don't do it brothers and sisters. this is serious warning with the three days of darkness let's continue uh so ever so often whatever was out there was imitating saying it's me <laughs> oh jesus it's me there was a moment that i noticed that my other brother sean sean was there and my dad and it looked and if you look at the window let's continue that, uh through it was block okay yes so she's saying that her other brother and her dad was in the house and she said if you look through the window uh it was blocked off it looked like light <clears throat> was coming from from the blinds you could tell that it looked like daylight outside this is the uh, jesus god bless this bless this sister everything she's saying i've seen it and i've done videos on it every single one i've i've done a video and i've said to you brothers and sisters when the three days of darkness ha is happening there is going to be a fake light outside to trick people to go outside to say oh yes it's over now the sun is sh just wait don't just tear down your windows and open up your doors just wait just 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 be patient and just wait because it's going to be a fake light i've seen it in the vision and this beautiful sister the lord showed it to her as well the people started to say it's light outside and joan said no again and the people again said it's light outside it's over the three days of darkness is over and they left out the house and as soon as they did immediately it went black again i knew it the lord showed it to me in the vision that i see that i saw total brightness outside but as soon as it got outside it turned pitch black again these are the fallen ones messing about so you have to in the three days of darkness you've really got to seek god because she and her mom and and, and her sister-in-law was heavily in prayer and this is a time there's no this it's gonna be so overwhelming anyway you know you're gonna to want to call sorry about that you're gonna to want to call on the name of the lord jesus christ okay yeshua mashiach okay so uh so these people said oh no it's light so as soon as they went outside it turned black again whatever was out there got those people well these are the following these are demonic entities that's what got them these are demonic pestilence that walk it by new day hallelujah do not go outside brothers and sisters this is serious and this is for those who have here to air 
and, and to listen. I'm not going to convict or convince anybody about the three days of darkness. You believe it if you want to. Okay? All right. So, whatever was out there, because these people left and said, oh, it's light outside, uh, got those people. Because you could hear them scream. It was like uh, tricking them, making it seem like it was daylight again, but it was not. The people in there was not listening. And this is, these people in the house represent some of you mockers and scoffers and taunters of the three days of darkness. But we are here to warn. That's all we're doing. Okay. All right. So after that, I noticed people was keeping track of their watches and said, oh, it's official. The three days of darkness is over. The old time we were in there, we were praying and the people wanted to leave. Joan once again said, Joan, sorry, Joan, Joan, one, which is our sister-in-law, once again said, oh, no, just because it's three days, it does not mean it's over. It's over until God says it's over. This is what I'm saying to you. When you see the light outside, just don't just rush outside. Wait on the most high to tell you when it's over. They didn't want to listen. So sad. So, so sad. They didn't want to listen. They wanted to check on their family and friends saying, oh no, it's been three days. They started ripping. <laughs> They started ripping off what was blocking uh, the windows. So these people in the house, because they saw sunlight, fake sunlight outside, they started ripping down the blinds to go outside. And this young lady and her mom and her sister-in-law were saying, don't do that. Stay inside. Don't go outside. But they weren't listening. They didn't get far. And they, they wouldn't get far. Not in, not not. not was what what's going on they didn't get far from the house and froze and their demeanor changed and joan said and joan said cover the windows and her and mom started working on the window and mom uh, mom told me to look away at sorry um and her joan and mom started working on the window so they were putting back up whatever what was there to block out the, the darkness. And mom and my mom told me to look away because I was holding my baby and, and I looked away. I turned away and closed my eyes. My, my view in the vision or the dream was changing from first person point of view to third. I don't know how my mom and Joan manage to cover the windows because the people that went out there went crazy and was trying to run back inside. Side note, oh, this sister is beautiful. I could kiss her. Brothers and sisters, I've done visions before and I've shown you. I've shown you when the three days of darkness fall, my husband pulled away the, 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 the blinds or the black bag that was there. I told him do not look through the windows do not look and he did and what actually happened to him he lost his mind he was on the floor in our bedroom screaming in pain talking all sort of gibberish so for her to say that those people went crazy you cannot handle what's coming in this darkness brothers and sisters I am telling you this is serious stuff and God is warning let's continue oh Jesus we love you Lord Let's continue. Sorry. So the people who went outside went crazy and trying to come back in the house. Listen to this. <clears throat> the people who was outside pulled my dad out the window. Oh, Lord. And my brother Sean went out the window after them to get his dad. Somehow, mom and Joan was able to block the window and and they were not affected like the people i specific i specifically remember joan was briefly able to stick her head out the window to fix it and i remember there was a light on both of their eyes so her mom and her sister 
begins to transform. I'll explain this to you in a bit. Let me just quickly read this. So there was a light in her mom's eyes and her sister-in-law eyes. The light was the light was really all over them. But it was like I could see a reflection in their eyes. Side note here. This is very important. I know that a lot of watchmen on the wall. Who is on the same page as me with the three days of darkness. They say that there's going to be a transformation. That the body of Christ will transform. For this young beautiful sister to see this. I haven't seen it I must say. I have not seen the transformation. I haven't. I'm going to be honest. But I know other watchmen on the wall have. So for this beautiful sister to say in her vision. This is what God was showing her. She saw the transformation of her mom. Her mom and her sister-in-law. Their eyes were just lit up. Their body was glowing basically. So something is going to happen. You know, the Bible says in Exodus 10 verses 20 to 22. The Bible says when the three days of darkness was happening in Egypt, it says that Israel, I'm not talking the fake Israel down in, down there. I'm talking the biblical Israel. It says Israel had light in their dwelling. We don't know what type of light it is. Always question that. But I know other watchmen on the wall for the Lord have said that during the three days of darkness, there's going to be some form of transformation and people are going to be able to go outside to help other people. I don't know about that, but we all get things in different parts. Okay. But this beautiful sister said that her mom and her sister-in-law were glowing. And their eyes were light up and they were able to fix back the window and put the stuff back up to block out the, the wicked darkness from coming in. So this is very, very interesting. Very, very interesting indeed. My mom said, <coughs> sorry, I'm almost finished now, brothers and sisters. Time is going. Just bear with me. My mom, she said, go to another room. So I was, so I was going through the house trying to find a place that didn't have any windows. <coughs> As I was trying to find a place, I heard something that sounded like footsteps of a horse. So I stopped, looked around the corner, and it was a skeleton of a horse walking in the hallway and the place where somebody would sit on the horse uh, uh, was draped, it was draped with a cloth. So she saw this skeleton horse coming towards her with a cloth over it where the person would sit. I didn't know what it was. I went to another room. It was dark, but had candles in it. And I sat in there and my dad was there. Now remember, her dad got pulled through the window. <clears throat> Sorry. Remember her dad, when those wicked people didn't want to listen, some, they actually pulled her dad through the window. So he got dragged through the window, but somehow the dad is back in the house. Listen to this, brothers and sisters, because I'm going to explain. Oh, glory to God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. So I went into another room and it was dark, but had candles in it. And I sat in there and my dad was there. In the third person view, so she was now in the third person view, thinking to myself, I thought I seen my dad got pulled out the window. And in the dream... And the dream went back to the first person. My dad was staring at me and his head went all the way back uh, and his head went all the way to the side. And he said, oh, you have a baby. And I thought to myself, why is my dad asking me this? Because, you know, that's her dad so she's got a baby daddy will know but this person well her dad was saying you know she's got a baby but his head turned all the way like i don't know can't do it all the way back something like that okay he started walking towards me and his body was twitching and contorting oh when i read this when she talked about this you know what i thought about brothers and sisters <clears throat> can you imagine somebody walking towards you all right, those of, lots of people have watched Thriller, Michael Jackson Thriller. I don't know, 
So when she said her dad was twitching and contorting, I can only think of the ring. You know, I watched the ring before I stopped watching TV. So the twitching probably is, I don't know, the, the walking, but the kind of twitch, I don't know. <laughs> Sorry. The, quite, the kind of twitching. So he was twitching, okay? He was twitching and his body was just probably bending up sort of thing like demonic, isn't it? This is our dad, okay? It was twitching and, con and, and contorting. It was not normal. And I thought, oh my goodness, it's not him. And mom and Joan came in the room and said, Sarah, Sean. Sorry, brothers and sisters, the video cut out. Uh, so, um, yeah, so she said, the mom came in the room and said, Sarah, Sean, your dad is outside. So clearly that was not the dad that was inside the house. And, and I said, but he's here. This is our dad, but he's here. And they both look at him. Whatever it, it was, he kept walking towards me and said, look at me, look at me. The closer it got, the more it, its voice distorted. I woke up out of my dream for the third time and I laid there for a second. I laid back down and I said, please God, this is enough. I get it. I don't want to dream this anymore. But when I went back to sleep, the dream picked up where it left off. And that thing was screaming, which is her dad, supposedly. Look at me. Look at me. And somehow my mom and Joan was able to make it go away. At the end of the dream, after that moment, I said, how were you guys able to look outside? Because obviously they were patching up the windows. They were able to patch the windows up. And, and and not be affected. M mind you, they didn't run outside in the darkness. But I, but I mean to briefly patch the window. They were not affected. My mom looked at me and said, this is beautiful and this is so true. So, so true. My mom looked at me and said, you, you, could, you could not do that. Look out the window like them because you are not at the place where you need to be with God. And then I woke up. Powerful. I can't stay too long because my memory is this phone's gonna cut out in a minute or so. Very, very powerful vision. I will leave the proper description in the box because it's quite lengthy. Because she sent me a voice note, but I didn't know how to get it on YouTube. So I asked her to send me the transcript so I could read it to you, brothers and sisters. So I will leave the exact transcript in the description box when you have time you can read it and know this is a very lengthy vision a dream rather but brothers and sisters this is serious this is serious stuff the the, the darkness is coming it is 100 percent coming um amos 8 verse 9 and 10 will come into full swing so god eternally bless you i love you all and I'll see you soon, someday in glory, in Jesus' precious holy name. Amen and amen, amen. And just a quick side note, just a quick side note. Sarah, Sister Sarah, totally believe now that the three days of darkness is real. Because she asked the Lord and God gave her a profound, a profound vision or dream of what is to come. God bless you all.